Hey guys, this is Ben with Sourcing Force. Today in our first finance and procurement related video, we're going to be talking about how you can run a successful spend analysis. Let's check it out. First step. To capture your spend data, you'll need to start by identifying all the sources available such as procurement, finance and marketing. This includes accounts payable, general ledger, PCAR, e-procurement systems, etc. When you gather your data, make sure you collect it into a single source. Step 2. Once you have collected the spend data, consolidate it into one central database. It can be a little tricky at times if your data is in different formats, different languages or different currencies. Though you could use analytic systems specifically designed for this purpose. 3. Clean up your data. This part includes finding and correcting errors in descriptions and transactions, as well as standardizing the data for easy viewing. You could also implement tools like a spend management system to make sure that best practices are easy to rehash for the users. Step 4. Categorize your suppliers. Purchases made from Dell, Dell Boomi, or Dell Software should all be grouped together since they're all the same supplier. Step 5. Whether you use UNSPSC, E-Class, or your own company-specific categories, you want to identify the areas where your organization's money is being spent. Therefore, direct and indirect spend should all be categorized appropriately. 6. You'll have to continuously update your data to make sure that buyers are purchasing from preferred suppliers. Savings opportunities are being identified. You still ensure contract compliance. And I would add that spend analysis is good, but spend analytics is even more a critical choice for budgeting and identifying tremendous savings in 2019. And procurement strategies and sourcing can really emerge from it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. There will be more videos coming up soon, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned. See you later.